Come on, man. Deal is back in the building. What are you telling me, people? Literally lit. As you can see, all the time. I'm even at work making a video. Man, I ain't as consistent as as I am before because I don't need to be. You know what I mean? It's like when you, when you're, it's like you have to be more consistent on the upcoming of your channel or whatever you're doing. Like when you're upcoming in something, but you gotta be consistent, otherwise you ain't gonna make it in whatever you're doing. Literally, I made sure I put in the hard work before. So I don't have to put in so much hard work now Literally I can drop one video a week And one video every two weeks And still be fine You know what I mean Because I got my foundation done You know what I mean Bro get your foundation done But yeah 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 God damn Man I'm just tuned into reality right now Literally Bought some black seed oil Got, got some sea moss at home but the only thing I've been this flunking up on and this fucking up on is this back on the smoking, but I'm kind of kind of on it heavy. Been buying three fives, not even the Benz, but like three fives every like couple two days, three days. Literally, I haven't gone a week, like in, since the last two months. But I haven't gone a week. Maybe I maybe like a week, maybe two, but then I'll jump back on another three five. Yeah, you know I mean, I need to stop. It's like. This boredom is just really taking over on me. I'm telling you, this is the worst thing about this being an introvert and this being a, a guy that's doing your own thing. It's like it kind of wears on you eventually. Yeah, you know I mean, like you'll start to feel the impact of not having a lot of friends. And it's like because you'll see other people doing things that, you know I mean, they're, they're going on holiday, their friends, you'll be like, wow, man, I should be making friends. But see, the Lord set us apart for a reason. and I made sure I listened to it and stay out of the way, man, because I want to reap good things out here. And the only way you can do that is by keeping energy out from vampires and leeches. But yeah, bro, um, man, what I really want to talk about is the, the new, this boxing thing, the new puppet of boxing. See, you got an assemble, there's a new puppet of boxing. New puppet of boxing, Ryan Garcia, everyone seen and everywhere. He's just blowing up now, yeah. I mean, this guy, he's just come from nothing, yeah. I mean, he's a new puppet because he's under Floyd Mayweather's, yeah. I mean, oh, so I'm telling you, this is what I realized when you work for Floyd Mayweather, it's like you're officially behind the back door in boxing, like. He works in the back door in boxing, you know what I mean? Like he'll get he'll you you're guaranteed a win when you when you work with someone like him. You know what I mean? That that Ryan Garcia fight versus Devin Hanley was all fake. How the fuck is Devin Hanley you just watch the video? Why is Devin Hanley walking in there like he's some um, bum off the street, like he's never boxed in his life, bro? Why is he walking there like yeah you know I mean with shorts on? You didn't even walk in he didn't even come with professional gear, bro. That's how you know it wasn't even that serious, I'm telling you. It's, it's all fake, it's all a fraud And it's all just to put people in an illusion that This is a real fight when it's not I'm telling you, it's all about the pub, um, the the revenue that they're making now Yeah, I mean, boxing's just becoming fake Well, even more fake by the day And that was just a clear example of it I don't know, there's so much bots But when I go on, like these videos uh, about, what, you know what I mean Garcia winning, I'm just looking like these people are bots, bro. They're just dropping all these comments underneath like they know what they're talking about when they don't. You know what I mean? I'm telling you, bro. This is what I say. Don't even... Don't take boxing like too seriously, you know what I mean? To where you invest all like, your money and stuff. Just watch it just for entertainment. You know what I mean? Because they just want to rinse your shit so you might as well just watch it for free yeah you know i mean don't invest no nothing into it yeah you know i mean because it's just like a gambling thing now yeah you know i mean it's like boxing's turned into to get it's like yeah you know i mean it's like a slot machine it's like you don't know if you're gonna it's it's weird bro it's like a slot machine at a casino it's like you're guaranteed to just lose <laughs> I don't know, bro. Yeah, I mean, this guy's talking about going to the woods and experiencing all this stuff and Andrew Tate. I'm telling you, anything to do with Andrew Tate is just 
to do the matrix i'm telling you that guy is he's a puppet for the matrix bro so anything to do with that guy just understand that it's all it's all put together by all of them yeah you know i mean floyd mayweather they're all working together these but all these the head boxer elites and all these big influences they all work together i'm telling you the boxing industry is like the most evil industry bro trust me that's what i realized boxing industry is the most evil industry because they're just sneaky yeah you know i mean they know their intentions behind that what they're doing boxing man boxing's lame telling you this is why i say don't don't get into boxing professionally and try to be someone try to be one of these guys bro because it's not worth it yeah you know i mean these guys don't have i'm telling you, you might think boxing's easy bro it's not easy bro like these guys have it easy because yeah they have to follow a script and follow yeah you know i mean the system you you think you can just go into a box and think you can make money and just live nice Fuck, there's no way bro you're gonna have to get run by one of these flipping demons and then literally do all these weird things see that that ryan garcia guy he's lost to the matrix bro he ain't never going back to his old version that guy he's he's gonna influence so much people to do some weird shit watch bro because he's a puppet now i'm telling you bro this is what money does to you it, money changes people you you give someone 100 million they'll say anything change their whole personality actually they'll, they'll change whole identity for the money bro i'm telling you but yeah man understand the boxing world is fake but yeah understand the new recent fight all fake so don't stop putting so much time and effort into studying it bro just understand it's not real like why is Devin Hanley walking in there with shorts that look like he got from the dollar store or some shit bro you know what I mean <laughs> because how can this guy this guy got beat by a body shot bro fucking Tank Davis beat this guy with one body shot and this guy's just steamrolling through guys after drinking and smoking and I don't believe it, bro. If he really believed that shit that he won and he didn't even really train like that and he's just drinking and smoking and shit and yeah, it's bullshit, mate. Trust me. He, they hyped up that fight for um for all the engagement and to bring people the eyes on because they thought yeah, Garcia's gonna lose to Hanley and then Hanley lost it and this yeah, I mean it's all the illusion, bro. They they know what they're doing. Just think about the bigger picture in the end, yeah you know I mean Because I am, I don't know about you. Because I don't be wasting all my time, you know what I mean, supporting all these flipping fighters and shit, bro. Understand, they all support each other. You shouldn't be supporting them. You should be supporting your fucking self, man. People put more time and effort into studying these matches and the characters into studying their own character. God damn, man. This world's backwards, bro, I'm telling you. Anyway, people are funny. And yeah, literally, I'm at work, bro. Literally, I, I got a... I'm working till summer. I, only, I need to work till summer and get my money up and just enjoy my time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Even, do you know, do you know, I'm going to give a shout out to Lala, Lala Baptiste. I even bought a skincare, um, what did I buy? Codely. I bought like a whole skincare set, bro. Like, how much it cost me? Like, one, it cost me a bit of people. Like, I got bare shit. Face wash, uh, fucking moisturizer. Literally, codely, la la, you're putting me on game. <laughs> but yeah, man, um, I might continue this video. I don't know, but bro. Understand the boxing industry has been taken over by the elites and they're going to use that to promote all of their new agendas, man. But yeah, stay tuned. Spiritual deal is always in the building and I'm out. Peace. Come on, man. I just had to continue that last part because this boxing thing is interesting because it's like why are they pushing this ryan garcia guy to be the face of boxing so much why are they promoting him so much why are they making him win all these big fights why are they doing this why it's all because of what 
he can do both. Yeah, you know I mean, he this has a big mouth. Yeah, you know I mean, people that have big mouths. Love, of course, they're gonna get promoted because they just love talking and waffling. See that guy, boy, he just loves waffling, boy. You see all that shit he's talking on all them podcasts and with all them people, conspiracy theorists, the woods, um, stuff like this. But this guy's got all demonic tattoos on him, and yeah, I mean, and he still talks about God and stuff like this it's just weird but it's like these boxes and stuff promote god and stuff but it's like they promote the devil at the same time how can you promote the devil and god at the same time I'm telling you it's weird but yeah get used to it because He's gonna be the face of the, um, watch you watch but Ryan Garcia is gonna be the face of the world eventually. He's just gonna he's gonna be like Mike Tyson, um, Floyd Mayweather. He's gonna be like all them big guys. Just like how everyone knows people for boxing. Oh yeah, Mike Tyson's a fucking guy. People are gonna know Ryan Garcia just for being that shit talker and being an online guy. I'm telling you, watch for he's gonna be the real like the the person that when people look into boxing, Ryan Garcia. <laughs> That guy looks so fragile, but I don't know, like, I don't know if it's me or just, I don't know if you think the same thing, but I reckon, bro, I could take that guy in the ring, bro. This, he don't look intimidating, he don't look strong or nothing, bro. Guys hype this guy up way too much, bro. But yeah, 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 man. This boxing thing's going way too far. Don't put it as your first, like, priority, you know what I mean? Like, you ain't the person fucking boxing, bro. This is why I say, don't put so much time and energy into it. Make sure you just watch it for entertainment only. But yeah. Because I even watched like a, a little clip, a little video of um, Ryan Garcia and Floyd Mayweather. I'll put a picture of what I just saw um, putting up there. These two guys, Oh, in a FaceTime call, putting up the, the yeah, I mean, the, the three on their hands, like, th oh, yeah, the three pounds, like, he, he, yeah, I mean, he, he's cheating, basically, yeah, you know I mean, like, oh, the three pounds, like, he's mocking it, bro, like, yeah, yeah, the, he's, you, yeah, you beat him with three pounds above him on weight, but it's like, you are meant to do that, yeah, you know I mean, you're meant to, that's how you know this shit's fake, bro, because why would the fight go through and you missed weight? That's how you know this shit's all promoted and fake and people already know who's going to win. Because he, 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 the fight still continues. How can a fight still continue after not making weight? Come on, man. That, that should just be a, just the, the instant... Telltaller. Literally, that should be an instant telltaller right there. Why did a fight go through? Just ask that question, man. Because if that was anyone else, they would have been stopped. But man, they have an agenda to push out and they have Ryan Garcia to put on the charts, man. I'm telling you, he's he's done he's done what he has to has to done to get on the yeah, you know I mean the top charts now. He he's been talking about all the rituals and yeah, you know I mean talking about all this insane crazy shit so more people can put eyes on him. Because he knows the more he talks all about that wood shit and all this crazy conspiracy shit it's like more people are going to look into him because he's just chatting a whole bunch of things that people don't really like invest time and energy into you see what i mean so people will be like more interested about oh man this guy is talking about a whole bunch of crazy he's exposing the industry but how how can this guy expose the industry and be promoted by the industry it don't make no sense i'm telling you everyone's all in it's all a pan it's all a big plan it's all a big yeah, you know I mean, everyone's just in all in it, bro. All these big boxers, big promoters, telling you, bro. Floyd Mayweather's the main guy. He's the main cropper, telling you. If you took that guy, he's like the he's like the master puppet. You take that guy out of the equation, there wouldn't be really no boxing. But this guy, he makes the boxing. But I'm telling you, he's the like the the piece puzzler. He puts everything together, literally. Without Floyd, both boxing would even be like 
he's the promoter, bro. Yeah, I mean, they made him the promoter because he's Floyd, man. But yeah, 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 man. The new puppet of boxing, man. The new puppet. And get used to it, bro. This is going to be even more fights being thrown. Yeah, I mean, we got the new fight coming up. Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. What kind of bullshit is this, bro? Jake Paul and Mike... Why are Jake Paul and Mike Tyson fighting for? Why is Jake Paul fighting Mike Tyson? Do you know what's going to happen in the ring? It's going to be like Mike Tyson. He's going to lose, but watch. He's going to lose to Jake Paul somehow. Jake Paul, he's somehow going to knock him out. Or not knock him, maybe even knock him out or some bullshit or... Just know Mike Tyson's losing, understand, and everyone's going to be all shocked and surprised. Oh my God, Jake beat Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson, he's not, he, he, you know what I mean? He lost his first battle or whatever. <clears throat> Literally. And I was even watching the boxing, the boxing, uh, this boxing in general, like this, the latest shit, like Ryan Garcia and, you know what I mean? Why am I seeing only fans being promoted for? Like, what? <laughs> It's like it's like they're all together. Even only fans are with boxing, the, the the boxing industry as well. They're all apart, bro. I'm telling you. Because why are they all promoting each other? Yeah, you know I mean, why are only fans being promoted on the boxing ribbons on? Yeah, you know I mean the the in the, in the ring and this just in general, like in the background, only fans. Why the fuck? Why is only fans being promoted like it's some sort of benefits your life or it helps you out or? Yeah, you know I mean, it's, <laughs> you're paying to see naked women, like, it's just some weird shit, but I'm telling you, boxing's turning into, like, a slimy sport, but I'm telling you, it's turning into, a sli it's not even boxing no more, it's just a slimy sport, because they're turning into something where they can just make profit out of. But yeah, understand, Devin Hanley took that massive beat down from Ryan Garcia so you guys can look at him as the real big OG, the real big king, the real big tough guy. And it's working, it's working. See, it's working, bro. Just look in all the comments in all these videos and you'll see these bots going crazy and, oh my God, Devin Hanley lost. Even I thought fucking Ryan Garcia would lose, but... They wanted you to think that, but because of how he was drinking and smoking and how Devin Henry was chaining. It's just it's all one big game. And you watch, it's either going to be Ryan, it's either going to be Ryan, uh, Ryan or Javonte. They're going to fight each other eventually. Um... Because one of these guys has to be the face of boxing. Floyd Mayweather ain't going to have two of these guys as the face of boxing. So one of these guys are going to have to lose, bro. And I reckon it's going to be Javonte. Javonte is going to be the one going down while Ryan Garcia goes up. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, don't listen to none of the waffle that this guy talks about on this camera. About all this shit with all these people and stuff like this because you're really trusting someone that's with the people like yeah he's telling you all this information but he's the one there alongside them it don't make no sense but man that's enough of boxing for the day and yeah i'm just surviving yeah you know i mean still doing me I'm not worrying about nothing you know what i mean just trying to make, get my pee up that's really, really what i'm trying to do now is just get my pee up and Get my life in order. Only way I can do that is by just keeping people in my life. Keeping a narrow path, keeping, you know what I mean? Keeping, tu I'm keeping tunnel vision, I'm keeping women out of the way. I haven't been dealing with women or nothing. And that's the crazy thing, I haven't been dealing with women, like, imagine that. No woman. But I feel like, bro, I need to deal with something, bro, because it's like, it just makes me more even, it's not even stressed, like, is it, I just feel like, when you have all this sexual energy in you, it's like you have burdens on you, so it's like, until you release it on some female, then it's like, you're going to continue having these burdens on you. 
I don't know how it feels like to even relapse yet because I haven't. So I'll let you know when it happens. But until then, we just have to keep waiting. I I don't rush nothing. I ain't rushing no SEX. I don't care, bro, because I know in the end I'm benefiting the female. The female ain't benefiting me in no way. Yeah, I might feel good in a moment and whatever, release and whatever, whatever, but... I don't know, bro. It's just mad. It's like when you're on seam attention, it's like you just look at sex the whole different opposite way it's like you don't even really care too much about it because you know how powerful your energy is so you don't even want you even want to even just cuff like faff with the random women out here yeah i mean this this woman that woman you'll be very selective because you are a selected person and a selective person no one there ain't no one out here ain't gonna find no one like you this is why i never take bullshit man But yeah, <clears throat> understand, the less women you deal with, the, the, the easier they become to get. Because what I realise when I go around in places now and I want to get women that I want, it just it seems to become effortless. It's like so easy. It's like I'm just naturally a ladies man when I go around ladies because I'm been with them. Because it's like, you don't think so lustily no more. It's like, it, it's just like, right. If the, if the if the yeah I mean if if the box don't come away then it don't come away I'm telling you that's how you think of attention if the box don't come away it don't come away and it's like you won't even go outside your own bubble and go chase nothing because it's not in your purpose to to do something like that yeah you know I mean I ain't making no money off that I ain't getting nothing off it and just it's just pleasure but. Man, I, I I put my goals and everything before pleasure. It's like once you endure so much pain, it's like you might as well just keep up the pain. Yeah, you know I mean, I, I'd rather keep up the pain than dwell into little pleasure. Yeah, you know I mean, man, I want the big rewards in life. Yeah, you can have sex all day, every day, but you you can't be successful all day, every day. It's not for everyone. And man, you need your sexual energy to be someone out here. Otherwise, you'll never find yourself. If you never harbour your sexual energy, I'm telling you, you'll never find yourself. You're going to go throughout life just living through other people's lives and never find your own life purpose. Maybe you could be the president. You never know. Who knows, man? But stay tuned. Always in the building. Nama. Peace.